Yeah, yeah, she bought she finger. <laughs> Do you want to take your time? You're going to hold it here when you're doing it. Hold it. Welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you are having a wonderful day i just want to thank you all for the love and the support on all my previous videos and today i am back again with i know your favorite another diy today we'll be making this clear whiteboard behind me so if you want to see how i made this please keep watching okay so to begin you first want to determine where of course on your wall you want to place this whiteboard for me i decided to place it right beside my bed because that was the best wall space that i have i have plans for the other empty walls and uh, um, because i'm placing it directly next to a window i decided to find the center point of my window to center it between the window like the top of the window and the window sill. so after i found the center point of my window i made a line with a pencil and now i'm taking this level and making a straight line across the wall so you'll see this pink rectangle in the middle here these are my final measurements that I had already pre-measured so I'm just going back from the beginning now to show you guys how I ended up there so after I drew that line um, through the center I'm measuring my plexiglass to get the length and it was 30 inches so now that I know the length of my board I am going to find the center point of that length though so it was 30 inches so at 15 inches I'm going to line my rule here up with that center line that I made from the window and then I'm going to mark the top and the bottom so that would be my total 30 inches in length centered with the middle of my window and you can see my little DIY trick there holding the wool in place with my head because I didn't have an extra pair of hands and the clamp to like hold the length wasn't working so I just had to improvise. Okay so now that I had my top point measured out and my base point measured out I'm going to go back in with the rule and make another straight line here and i realized here that when i did my first outline i didn't actually mark off the actual top point so you can see it's a little bit above my my pink tape here that i used to outline it so outlining it was very helpful for me just to visualize it and to see if it would work best in the space i definitely recommend you know using some tape or something with your measurements to get an idea of what it would look like and the dimensions and so forth before you actually start to drill okay so now that i have my top line and my baseline i'm just readjusting that top tape like i said i didn't i recognize that i didn't um, have that line accurate initially and i'm determining the width that i want this clear board to be and I think I settled on 20 inches or so. It could be whatever length you like, whatever dimensions best fit your space. Okay, so now I'm going to take my rule again and measure that 20 inches in width across my board i'll make a point at the top one at the center and one at the bottom and using the level using the level i'll connect all of those points and make a straight line so i'm just going back in with my rule here just to double check my measurements you know what they say better to measure twice and cut once
okay so once you have your straight line now i'm going to use this um, exacto knife box cutter utility knife whatever you want to call it and i'm going to start scoring right along that line um it was not easy to do this part it requires a great deal of force and pressure and i was using like the tip of that blade for quite a while until i recognized that there was like a hook part on the opposite end so eventually i turned it over and i did use that part instead and i'm scoring this on both sides so that i could be able to snap off that excess piece of plexiglass that we won't be using And here I'm just scoring 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 my mom came in to help me and I went over the back and front of it a few times to try to get those grooves as deep as possible to make the snapping part a lot easier it does take some time and I went out of the line <laughs> More times than I'd like to admit, so I don't. This thing is still not even straight on the edge, but I don't think you'll really be able to tell in the end, so it's fine. So it seems like I lost the footage of me breaking it. So what I did is I used the edge of a step and I lined up that line that we are scoring here with the edge of that step and using my hand I press down on uh, that piece that we are trying to break off until it snapped. It didn't break off in one piece I guess the edges were um, better done than in the center so the center took some effort to break and so I had a few pieces jotting out but I just took like a pliers and snapped off those little extra pieces that didn't break as cleanly. So now we are ready to drill our holes and before I did it on the board that we'd actually be hanging I took piece that was broken off that other leftover piece that we we broke off and I drilled through that just to ensure that it wouldn't crack and even without the tape you'll see that I did not get any splinters or anything like that so my uncle is actually assisting as it was really difficult to um, push the drill all the way through the board I measured an inch in from each corner to get that point where we are drilling at so that they should all be even and equal. You'll recognize as well that we are using a piece of scrap wood beneath the plexiglass as the bit does drill through to that board so you'd want to protect the surface you're working on. So now we're ready to drill our holes in the wall and what we're doing here is I'm holding the board up using that center line that we created earlier and those other pencil lines that I marked out and just resting my board in between those lines and my uncle is using his drill just to mark off where he'll be drilling deeper into the wall here for me. One thing I want to note is please mark what side you use to make these marks you don't have to use a drill you can use a pencil but in the end when I was hanging when I was rehanging the board again I recognized that I had flipped it so some of the holes weren't lining up as they should so just be careful that you know which side is your upside and which side is your back 
um, so to speak, so that you hang it back directly in that position. And I probably should have given him that piece of paper to collect all the dust from the beginning, but I didn't remember. So I literally just folded a piece of paper in two and it has just some painter's tape on there so that he can stick it and it'll collect all the dust from the drilling into the wall and make cleanup a lot easier. So these are the mounts that we'll be using and they are called standoff wall mounts and I got them from Amazon of course and they'll be linked below in the description and what they'll do is um, part will go into the wall and then I'll screw the plexiglass in between that part that is bolted to the wall so that they so that it will stand off the wall and not be flat. My uncle did most of the work for this drilling part but of course your girl wanted to get one in as well so yeah yeah she bought she finger <laughs> you have to kill that So me drilling, attaching um, one of the wall mounts into the last hole and you know I'm learning how to use the drill and getting all these things done. Soon I won't need anyone's help. <laughs> okay so I tried like putting all of the screws into the plexiglass before I mounted it like them like on the wall. Don't do it. It's a waste of time. They all fell out anyways. So just hold it up to the wall mounts that you've screwed into the wall and then just insert these top pieces after. Save your time. Okay, so this was me thinking I was done and finally getting it on the wall. Shout out to Zelly TV, my sister, as the cam my cameraman getting you all these angles and all these shots. Um, but I realized that some of the holes didn't line up and I thought, wow, I need to redrill some of these holes because they didn't go in right initially because I couldn't get the top screw to fit through to the bottom part. And uh, turns out all I needed to do was really flip the board and uh, my uncle, he loosened some of the pieces that we drilled in so that it would be a lot easier to screw in the top portion. So after a little panic session we got it all on the wall and screwed it nice and securely. And are you ready to see it? The final product, I think it turned out so great and so beautiful in the end. Like I said that right edge is not really that straight but Mm, you can't really tell and uh, you can customize this however you want. I used some decals from a pa past vision board that I had and some quotes that were on there. Just use some double sided tape to stick those up. I think I'll get like some of those uh, colored tapes and stuff to create some grid lines and some boxes and just to section the board off a little bit more but I'm so happy with how everything turned out and I'm looking forward to using my board to capture all of my plans and to make sure that I can see all these reminders and these things that are so important to me well that's it for today's video and I hope you guys enjoyed it I mean it wasn't the easiest project but it was really fun and I definitely love how it turned out. If you do plan to try anything like this, remember to follow me over on Instagram at SweetLovePB and to tag me in your photos of you repainting anything or you trying this clear board DIY behind me. I'm looking forward to seeing your guys' photos and your videos of how you're doing things yourself at home. I'll see you again soon. Bye! Thank you.